Recent events like the power crisis in Texas in 2021 underscore the vulnerability of our power infrastructure. This crisis was not merely a regional issue, but a wake up call for the entire nation. It highlighted the risks associated with relying heavily on traditional power sources and exposed the fragility of our grid system. The Texas power outage was primarily caused by extreme weather conditions, revealing the susceptibility of our infrastructure to natural disasters. While renewable energy sources often receive blame during such events, it was the failure of conventional power sources that led to widespread blackouts. This emphasizes the importance of diversifying our energy mix and investing in resilient infrastructure. Moreover, the Texas crisis revealed systemic flaws in the management and regulation of the power grid. Inadequate planning and preparedness exacerbated the situation, leaving millions without electricity for days on end. It demonstrated the need for better coordination between government agencies, utilities, and stakeholders to prevent similar disasters in the future. In addition to natural disasters, the threat of cyber attacks looms large over our power grid. As our society becomes increasingly interconnected, the risk of cyber warfare targeting critical infrastructure grows. A well-coordinated cyber attack could disrupt power distribution systems, plunging entire regions into darkness and chaos. Furthermore, the aging infrastructure of our power grid poses a significant risk. Many components of the grid are decades old and in dire need of modernization. Without proper maintenance and upgrades, these aging systems are more susceptible to failure, increasing the likelihood of widespread blackouts. Identifying the specific causes that could lead to a grid collapse is essential for understanding the vulnerabilities of our power infrastructure. One significant factor is the increasing frequency and intensity of natural disasters. Events like hurricanes, tornadoes, wildfires, and severe storms can damage power lines, transformers, and substations, disrupting the flow of electricity and causing widespread outages. Another critical threat is the risk of cyber attacks on our power grid. As our society becomes more reliant on digital technologies, the potential for malicious actors to target critical infrastructure grows. Cyber attacks can range from sophisticated hacks, targeting control systems to ransomware attacks that cripple utility operations, leading to extended power outages. Furthermore, the strain on aging infrastructure poses a significant risk to the stability of the power grid. Many components of our electrical infrastructure, such as transmission lines, substations, and power plants, are decades old and in need of repair or replacement. Without adequate investment in modernization efforts, these aging systems are more susceptible to failure, especially under extreme weather conditions or increased demand. Additionally, the interconnected nature of our power grid increases the risk of cascading failures. A localized problem in one part of the grid can quickly spread to other areas, leading to a domino effect of outages. This interconnectedness also makes the grid more vulnerable to physical attacks, as targeting key nodes or choke points could disrupt power distribution across large geographic areas. Analyzing the vulnerabilities within our power grid is essential to understanding the challenges we face in maintaining a reliable electricity supply. One significant vulnerability is the aging infrastructure of the grid. Many components, such as transmission lines, transformers, and substations, were built decades ago and are in urgent need of repair or replacement. As these components age, they become more susceptible to failure, especially during periods of high demand or extreme weather events. Another vulnerability is the lack of investment in modernizing the grid. While the demand for electricity continues to grow, investment in upgrading and expanding infrastructure has not kept pace. This lack of investment not only hampers efforts to improve reliability, but also limits our ability to integrate renewable energy sources and implement advanced technologies, such as smart grids and energy storage systems. Additionally, the increasing demand for electricity puts strain on an already stressed system. Population growth, urbanization, and the electrification of transportation and heating all contribute to rising electricity consumption. Without adequate planning and investment, the grid may struggle to meet this growing demand, leading to more frequent blackouts and brownouts. Moreover, our reliance on centralized power distribution makes the grid vulnerable to single points of failure. A disruption at a critical node, such as a major power plant or transmission substation, can have cascading effects, leading to widespread outages across large geographic areas. Decentralizing power generation and distribution through measures like microgrids and distributed energy resources can help mitigate this vulnerability. 
Assessing the potential impact of a grid collapse is critical for understanding the severity of the situation and preparing for its consequences. One of the most immediate and severe impacts would be on essential services like healthcare. Hospitals and medical facilities rely heavily on electricity to power life-saving equipment and maintain critical functions. Without power, medical care would be severely compromised, putting lives at risk and overwhelming healthcare providers. Another major area of impact would be on communication networks. In today's interconnected world, communication is essential for coordinating emergency response efforts, disseminating information, and maintaining social cohesion. A grid collapse could disrupt telecommunications infrastructure, leading to widespread communication outages and hindering rescue and recovery operations. Furthermore, transportation systems would be severely affected by a grid collapse. Public transportation, freight networks, and air travel all rely on electricity to function. Without power, trains would be unable to run, traffic signals would cease to operate, and airports would be forced to shut down. This would not only disrupt travel, but also impede the movement of essential goods and services, exacerbating the crisis. Additionally, the economic impact of a grid collapse would be staggering. Businesses would be forced to shut down, resulting in lost revenue, layoffs, and supply chain disruptions. The loss of productivity and economic activity would reverberate throughout the country, leading to widespread unemployment, poverty, and social unrest. Moreover, the social and psychological impact of a grid collapse cannot be overstated. The loss of power would disrupt daily life, causing stress, anxiety, and uncertainty among the population. Vulnerable groups, such as the elderly, disabled, and low-income individuals, would be particularly affected as they may lack access to alternative sources of power or support systems. The long-term effects of a total power grid collapse would be profound and far-reaching, impacting various aspects of society for years, if not decades, to come. One significant consequence would be the economic toll. The disruption to businesses, industries, and supply chains would result in significant financial losses. The cost of rebuilding and repairing infrastructure, restoring essential services, and compensating for lost productivity would be astronomical, potentially leading to a prolonged period of economic stagnation or recession. Moreover, the loss of life resulting from a grid collapse would have lasting repercussions. Without access to essential services such as healthcare, food, and clean water, vulnerable populations would be at increased risk of illness, injury, and even death. The inability to power medical equipment, refrigeration units, and sanitation systems would further exacerbate the health crisis, leading to higher mortality rates and prolonged suffering. Additionally, a grid collapse would trigger societal upheaval on a massive scale. Disruptions to transportation, communication, and essential services would erode trust in institutions and undermine social cohesion. The breakdown of law and order, scarcity of resources, and competition for survival could lead to civil unrest, conflict, and displacement of populations. The psychological trauma inflicted by such events would linger for years, contributing to increased rates of mental illness, substance abuse, and social dislocation. Furthermore, the long-term effects of a grid collapse would extend beyond national borders, impacting global stability and security. The interconnectedness of economies and the reliance of nations on critical infrastructure make them vulnerable to cascading effects of a major disruption. Disruptions to global supply chains, energy markets, and diplomatic relations could lead to geopolitical tensions, regional conflicts, and a reshuffling of power dynamics on the world stage.